Jay will start uh, not to make excuses, but four games, five nights, uh, playoff hockey here. Uh, high level, this Condors team's battled all, all year, but uh, you know, a tough, tough schedule and circumstances uh, going into tonight's uh, action. Yeah, but you know what, for, for us, Ryan, uh, we're professionals. Um, and uh, tell our team this entire season that uh, we want to worry about and control uh, what we can control. We didn't control what the schedule for this series is. Um, and we're not going to make excuses about uh, the result tonight of coming in four games in five nights. Um, we were ready. We just didn't execute at the level we felt we needed to. Um, but again, we don't set the schedule. The league sets the schedule. We're professionals, and uh, we just didn't get it done tonight. Guys started on the comeback there in the second period. Uh, get a goal there from Lavoie. Uh, nice one-timer. Started building some momentum. They come back with a goal. Uh, looked like you know, maybe some contact with the Rodriguez. What did what did you guys see? What did you guys see? Obviously, in between periods as well too. Well, we weren't happy with with um, that that goal. Uh, we felt there was goaltender interference. You know, the one thing that's interesting for us is uh, uh, we have a lot of people on our staff, our coaching staff, and and a lot of our players are very um, you know. Uh, hockey fans and they watch all the playoffs that are going on right now and whatnot in, uh, in the National Hockey League and um, I saw a goal called back uh, last last evening in the Las Vegas Minnesota game um, for goaltender interference the night before I saw one in the Carolina Nashville game that um, when you stack them up against what we saw uh, on that goal that you're talking about, um, to me, they don't even compare. Um, so that was disappointing. It was disappointing um, because um, that call went against us. We felt it was um, goaltender interference. It, you know, they impeded uh, our ability to make the save. Um, but at the end of the day, like I said earlier, in regards to the schedule, um, you know, we're a no excuses group. And at the end of it, we just weren't good, good enough to make. Carrie Osip, we'll start with you since we, we didn't get to your questions yesterday. Sorry about that. No worries at all. So coach, uh, you talked a lot about, you know, the, the young guys on the team and also the veteran leadership. How important is that veteran leadership going to come into play after you guys, you know, rally after this one and try to get the win on Saturday here? It's going to be really important. We're going to rely on them. Uh, they've been great all year. Um, even just coming into the locker room, our guys were all saying the right things. They understand that, uh, you know, we have uh, an opportunity uh, to win our division in a one game winner take all. Um, if you would have said that uh, when we started the season, I think everyone would have taken that chance and would have been happy about it. You would have said that after we were 0 5 to start the season. Um, you know, I think everyone been pleased with that, that opportunity that's in front of us. So I think our veterans said the right stuff as a coaching staff. We talked about uh, making sure um, that uh, our players are resting up, they're fueling up, and um, they're coming through uh, this physically and mentally. And um, tomorrow we'll, we'll come together, we'll have a little skate, a little meet and we'll uh, make sure that we're prepared for Saturday night. John Singh. Uh, Coach, uh, Saturday's pretty much a game seven. How do you approach a, a game like that in, in a series like this on the road? Well, I think, uh, you know, there's small adjustments we're going to want to make. Um, to our game game plan, just small things, not nothing major. We're here for a reason. Um, we're in this position uh, because of all the good things that we've done uh, to get to this point. Um, we're going to amplify uh, what we think uh, is required uh, to win one game. And um, you know, uh, like I said, I think the most important thing is that uh, we clear our minds. Uh, we're prepared physically, we're rested and recovered, and um, we're ready to uh, we're ready to execute come Saturday night. More questions for Jay? Yeah, I'll go again if no one has anything. Um, Coach, obviously this is an uncharacteristically 
different game for Stewie. Uh, just what do you see from him coming into the locker room? And that's got to be tough for a goaltender to have a night like this in playoffs. So what are you telling him and what do you expect from him if you if he obviously gets the start Saturday? Well, uh, you know, when we uh, we took Stewie out of the game, it had had not um you know, anything to do with the way he was playing or, or whatnot for us, it was about a little bit of a change in momentum. Um, and I thought, uh, you know, he's a, he's a pro he's, he's gone through this before. So, um, you know, I think uh, one of his greatest strengths is his ability to respond, but how about Olivier Rodrigue coming in and giving our team a great chance to win? Uh, I thought he was dynamite. Uh, the only goal that he, he, gave up was what we felt was goaltender interference when our player jumped on him. Uh, and then prior to that, he made two, you know, five alarm saves uh, to, to make sure that uh, he was giving us that chance. So, um, you know, I don't worry about Stewart and uh, you know, like I said, for a young player like Olivier Rodrigue uh, to go into a, a playoff game like that and perform the way he did, I'm, I'm proud of him. And uh, like I said, he gave us a chance to win. Time for one more if anyone has any. Right, Kurt? Right, Kurt? Yeah, uh, Coach, um, back to the four and five. You said there's certain things you cannot control, but did you see the dig tonight? Well, I, I think what you saw, Greg, was um, some fatigue errors and some execution mm -hmm. errors that uh, normally we don't we don't see. Uh, you mentioned four and five. It, you know, facts are facts. It was uh, three overtime games and then a fourth game here. And so, um, for whatever reason, um, you know, we weren't as good as we, we normally are tonight. Uh, but like I said, we're a no excuses team. Um, we play when they tell us to play, we're professionals and, um, you know, to, to combat some of those fatigue errors and execution errors that we made today, um, we're going to put a great emphasis on, on recovery and, uh, that's not just physically, but also mentally. As a follow-up, will you stay off the ice tomorrow? Yeah, we'll see. Um, you know, it's a, it's a weird schedule, even in this building, uh, their typical arena is unavailable. Um, we're in this NHL facility. Um, there's practice arenas involved. So there's a whole bunch of logistics that go into it. Um, right now we're going back to the hotel. I'm sure uh, we're going to have a nice meal. Uh, we'll discuss things and, and make sure that whatever decision we make, uh, it's to make sure that our energy reservoirs are where they need to be, uh, in order to, to have a clear mind and, uh, and be physically feeling great.